Nevada for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds of lightweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Mayweather's not giving us much indication of what kind of fight we're going to see based on the ring walk. Castillo's making his way to the ring right now, flanked by his cornermen. And just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. In the middle corner, coming out of Grand Rapids, Iron Boy Mayweather. Here's that from Mexico City, El Torrejo Castillo. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. This is a 12-rounder. Here's round number one. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Good way to protect the midsection. Mayweather's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Teddy, I know the situation we have in front of us, a fighter who has low stamina fighting a power puncher, and we know what can happen in the fight, but what can happen before he gets to this point to help him with a fight like this? Well, when you're training, let him go extra rounds. Let him understand that he does have the stamina. The mental part of boxing is 75%. Most guys, they have stamina, they just don't know it. Halfway through round number one. Blocks the headshot. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Unable to land clean by El Terrible. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Circle, circle. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Right hand downstairs. Castillo's putting forth an effort, but he's not being effective in that regard. No, he's not. He's not landing when he needs to land. And it kind of reminds he's a banger, too. He can punch a little. It reminds me of an old saying that a trainer once told me. It doesn't mean anything to have a big punch. It's kind of like having a military weapon, a bomb. What good is it if you don't have a missile to get it to the target? Right now, he needs a missile to get that punch. He needs to set it up, and he's not doing that. I like that two-punch combo by El Terrible. Gets rid of that body shot. Mayweather's just looking to get it done on the back end here, Teddy. Yeah, he is. He's just waiting to set a trap. You know, he's trying to get his opponent to walk in where he can make a miss and bang, on spring him, it on. on a little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Castillo's punches just don't look like what they should look like right now, Teddy. I know he's thrown a lot early on here, but there's no oomph on them. Well, that's the other side of it. There's always a flip side to a coin, and the flip side here in the boxing ring, yeah, he threw a lot of punches, but they didn't affect the guy. Right now, I think he's giving in a little bit. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Trigger 
right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Hey, you gotta get some of that too now. Come on, let's go. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Castillo. Let's breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? Now you're not winning this one. And round number three is underway. Nice strike after catching one by Castillo. Mayweather's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. <laughs> El Terrible's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. Really frustrating his opponent now. Mayweather, oh, that hey, uppercut hey, got him badly. Shake it off. Pick your feet up. Oh, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Castillo. Mayweather's banged around by a big uppercut. Castillo's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Castillo's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. And round three comes to an end. Start of round number four. Mayweather's well-skilled plan has earned him every round on your scorecard, Teddy. Yeah, he hasn't always been the aggressor, but he's definitely been the more effective puncher, landing the clean shots. How do you break out of this, Teddy? How do you break out of this mode where you're just thinking defense because you got hurt earlier in the fight. Well, a good corner. First of all, a corner guy has to tell him, hey, look, are you just trying to survive right here? Because if that's what you're going to do, okay, you may survive, or he may just step it up where you don't even have a chance to survive later. But if you want to win this fight, you have to get a hold of yourself, you have to listen to me, and you have to find a way to create offense again. How about that exchange? Punch your way off the rope. Come on now. Punch. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Good job. Teddy, if you could only pick out a few characteristics for a fighter and apply them to them, what would they be? Well, I think first of all would be the ability to overcome and the ability to be dependable. Everyone looks at the neon things, the speed, the power, they're tangible. We feel comfortable with those things. We can grab onto those things. But what about the talent of somebody being able to make a choice, a hard choice, in a very dark place? See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by El Terrible. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. 
Mayweather's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Castillo's corner better explain to him who's